Greetings to all. Myself, A. Albertravi, Assistant Professor in Commerce from St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kataloo. In this video, I am just going to share about the basic concepts and types of the credit rating. What is credit rating? A credit rating is nothing but an indicator of the loan repayment capability of an organization that has borrowed money. Credit rating is the process of analyzing the credit worthiness of the borrower so that the lender can be able to grant the loans only by the credit rating the lenders can able to know the financial status and the capacity of repayment of the debt in india the recognized credit rating agencies are giving a credit rating by analyzing various factors there are two types of credit rating one is investment grade and another one is speculative grade the investment grade credit rating indicates that the corporate entity has made sound investment decisions which means they are good in investment their investment gives a good returns and profit so that they can able to repay the debt without any default and on time so such companies falls under this investment grade category and they can easily avail the loan at lower rate of interest the second category is speculative grade such ratings fall under the category that a company has made very risk business investments which means they may earn profit or they may fall in a risk such companies will get speculative grade such companies may avail loan or may not avail loan even if avail the lenders may charge high rate of interest who are all the users of credit rating so the credit rating is used for lenders investment banks debt issuers institutional investors and other business people so the credit rating is used for the lenders to know the repayment capability so based on the loan repayment capacity the lenders used to offer the loan if the borrower is having high rating then the lenders can grant the loan without any hesitation on the other hand if the company is with average or poor credit rating that tells the lender that the borrowing company may not be able to make timely payments on the other side investment banks credit ratings comes in handy for investment banks at the time of taking the debt instruments equity shares of the company to the market then debt issues this refers to the borrowing companies entities themselves these entities take a look at their own credit rating from time to time to assess their own status which helps to know about their financial status that may helps to raise funds and institutional investors or retail investors the common individuals or the organizations that invest in the securities of other companies so by knowing the status of the companies through credit rating they can decide 
whether to invest or not in such company and other businesses if any organization wants to tie up with other companies or to have partnership or to have any other business transaction so such business people may know the company's financial status through credit rating so in such a way the credit rating is used to these five categories of people why the credit rating is important it is important as i said in the previous slide it is important to lenders to know about the borrowing form second the lenders can assess the credit worthiness of a company by looking at their credit rating and they can approve the loan or deny the loan so it is important then it is important to the borrowing companies it decides whether or not they will be able to get a loan so the credit rating is also important to the borrowing company so that they can able to know by themselves whether the lenders can grant loan or not so the credit rating is important it is also important to the individuals or to the institutional investors to decide their investment and it is important to decide while purchasing various types of securities from various companies what are all the factors that affects credit rating first one the credit rating is affected by what we viewing of the history of the previous financial conditions debt payments or default etc if the history is good sure the company can avail the loan in case if there is a negative impact on the rating then they won't get then the second factor is about existing debt level the borrowers existing debt level may also affect the rating in case if they are having more uh, debts then the credit rating comes down and the business entities future economic potential their future plans the future projects the value of future plan success may also decides the credit rating then in case if the company is going for multiple loan applications that may lead to hard enquiries which will bring down the rating here now let me say you the differences between credit rating and credit score what is credit rating and credit score similarly both are ascertaining and analyzing the credit worthiness here credit rating expresses the credit worthiness of a companies or government credit score determines the credit worthiness of an individual when an individual is going for a loan a personal loan or car loan or when you are going for a, a emi so the individual credit worthiness will be assessed that's called credit score how to determine the credit rating is determined based on financial statements borrowing and lending behavior and their credentials credit score is determined based on the individual's credit history new credit acquired the mix of credit types etc how the rating score will be given credit rating will be graded from triple a to d where triple a or double a is the highest and d is the lowest credit scores are 
usually expressed in numbers the scores are three digit numeric representation of an individuals credit worthiness and that may range from 300 to 900 in india credit rating is determined by the recognized approved agencies named prisil care icra acute ratings and research limited indra brickwork ratings india private limited informix valuation and rating private limited credit scores are given by trans union civil crif high mark experian and uk facts so here this slide may helps you to know about the credit scores in case if you are with 851 to 900 the score is excellent 751 to 850 good 651 to 750 average 501 to 650 poor 300 to 500 very poor generally if our score is above 750 the lenders can consider for the loan to the individuals so with this let me conclude somehow you can know about the basic concepts of credit rating and how the credit rating is differ from credit score thank you